looking for some content ideas that you can use for your social media marketing, but don't exactly know how to get started, don't worry. I got you covered in this video. We all win when we all win. We all win when we all win. Hey there, my friend. I'm Super Sid, and I'm an organic marketing coach who has helped hundreds of people build systems so that they could find their next clients online organically for free. And in today's video, I'm going to go over with you some really cool content ideas that you can use in your social media marketing. But before we go over content ideas, I'm actually going to cover with you really the missing piece that over 90% of people who create content miss, and make sure that you don't miss it, so that when you when you find out this secret, right, this one secret that nobody seems to want to follow, right, at nine. Out of 10 people don't seem to want to follow, you can make sure that you are using this secret that I'm going to go over later on in this video so that you can use your content to actually find clients on online and not just bombard them with a bunch of random content. So I cannot wait for you to see this secret and let's go ahead and get started right now with the video. Let's go. So before we go into any ideas on the content that we want to create, let's first answer the question, what is social media content, right? So content is going to be any way that we can send out a message to an audience or a marketplace of people so that they can consume that message and ultimately take action, have an opportunity to take action on that message that we're providing them. So ultimately the different, you know, social media content is going to be the content that we can create on social media, whatever social media it might be on. It might be on Facebook, it might be on Instagram, it might be on LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, right? But it, whatever it is, it's going to be the specific types of content, the specific types of ways that you create messages, right? So that you can go out to the marketplace, to that social media, and ultimately provide a message, deliver a message through a piece of content to the audience that has the opportunity to see that message. So now that you kind of got an idea of what content marketing maybe is at a little bit of a higher level, let's go into the types of marketing that there are, right? So when we're specifically looking at you know, content marketing on social media, we want to make sure that we look at the different types of ways that we can deliver those messages. So say for Facebook, for instance, right, you're able to post, you're able to post, and you're able to put a background on that post, you're able to put a long post, you're able to put a long post in a photo, you're able to put a video or something like that, right? So understanding the different types of content that you can put on the different social media is going to be very, very important when it comes to the type of content that you want to then distribute on that uh, social media. But understanding how people receive this content is very, very important and we want to make sure that we're delivering the content the way that our marketplace wants to receive this. And this all comes in to first realizing who it is that we are wanting to create the content for. And we're going to go over that right now. Before I go over with you exactly how to find your who on what you're wanting to send your content and get your content out to on social media, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out new and exciting videos every single day for people just like you so that you could find your next client online organically for free. Make sure to click that button below and subscribe. Now the next thing we want to make sure that we identify, like I kind of hinted on earlier, is identifying the who that we're putting that content out. For. And this really comes back into building your perfect client avatar out for yourself. And there's um, basically this thing that I call the super empathy exercise that you can follow in building your perfect avatar, your perfect client that you're looking to sign and attract to you. And ultimately what I want you to do is get out a blank piece of paper, just a regular computer piece of paper. And then what I want you to do is I literally want you to draw a picture of your perfect client right? Do they have a hat on? Are they wearing glasses? Do they have short hair, long hair, right? What kind of clothes are they wearing? What kind of shoes are they wearing? What is their demeanor? How, what's their posture like? How are they standing? And then I want you to describe this person to a T. Are they married? Is their wife mad at them, right? You know, how much money do they have? What kind of a business are they in? What are they offering? You know, what, are they, what is their superpower? What do they bring to the marketplace? Ultimately, I want you to create this thing because ultimately the content that you're going to be creating, you're going to be talking to this one person, this one client, this one entity that you create, which is ultimately going to help you, right, be seen by all the people that match, right, those personality traits. All right, so now that we know who we're talking to, let's start talking about the specific situations that we're wanting to solve um, with the content that we provide. So now that we know who we're talking to, we need to figure out the specific situations that I might, you know, fall into, right? Because think about it, right? The reason that someone wants to work with you is because they want your help getting them through a situation into a destination that they think you can help them with. So ultimately, by figuring out the certain situations that they are going to be falling into or becoming up with, right? 
right? Or falling, you know, coming to, right? That you know they're gonna need help getting over by providing content that's gonna be able to help them by actually helping them with the situations that you know is gonna come across, that they're going to come across. By doing this, you're then gonna start um, having ideas for content that is then going to actually help the who and the people that you're looking to uh, make this content Four. All right, so now that we know the situations, right? We know the situations, and typically these situations are going to be situations that, guess what? You probably went through yourself, especially if you went through all the revelations and all the stuff you did, right? When you were wanting to become what it is that you are now, wanting to become that coach, wanting to become that entrepreneur, wanting to become that person that is helping that other person with the thing that you provide, with the superpower, the thing that you offer, right? So what we want to make sure that we let, you know, that we put in our content is the stories, right? And the revelations, right? And the triumphs and the milestones that we reached when we went through those situations and ultimately what it is that we can help them with, right? During that situation so that they can get through the challenge that they want to get through even faster. And what we want to do is we want to make sure to take the situations, right? We want to look at the stories and we want to go to the different situations that we've identified and we want to write out a specific story or a specific time, right? In our lives where we dealt with that situation so that we can start to tell the stories of not only the situations that they're going to run into, but how to solve the best way to solve these situations so that they can get through these situations that your prospects and the people watching this content are going to run into even faster, ultimately building more trust and you being able to help them just by putting out the right content that they're looking to find right now. All right, so how do we actually find what people are wanting content around, around what it is that we are wanting to do Put, put content about, right? How do we develop content around how it is that we help people and how we make sure that the content that we're providing the marketplace is actually content that they are looking for and looking to get help with. And there's some tools that you can use, but there's also some free um, tactics that you can use. And ultimately what you really need to understand here is understand there are places on the internet where people go to get questions answered where they need help. And just understanding where to go find those corners of the internet is really gonna help you when it comes to finding out the types of content that can be provided provided by you, the people in the marketplace and the audience that you're providing it for is begging to get from you right now. So a couple of the free things that you can go check out is going into Facebook groups or simply going to Google and searching different items. Um, a lot of times what I might do is I'm going to go join a bunch of Facebook groups that are around an idea. Say it's around content. I will go join 10 Facebook groups that are around content and then I will go inside that Facebook group and start looking at the questions and the answers that people are asking and answering inside those Facebook groups so that I can figure out what's being talked about and what people need help with. Another way that you can do this is simply going to Google. You can go to Google and start typing in the keywords, right, or a phrase, right, that it is. Maybe it's organic marketing or content marketing. And then what, what Google's going to do is it's going to start giving you like the cheats of everything else around that keyword that people are searching. And then those are going to be different phrases or keywords that people are then searching on Google. And those can be ideas that you can create content around, right? So that's a free way that you can do it. Or you can use the same tool that we use, um, which is classified as SEM Rush. And SEM Rush is an absolutely amazing tool that we use um, when we go and we look specifically for titles and for things that people are searching online. Now, this is a, a tool that you can get absolutely free to try it out. We got it free to try it out and absolutely loved it. And I would absolutely, um, you know, and I would absolutely say if you're looking for the best tool to use so that you could find the types of content that your marketplace, your audience, your prospects are wanting you to put out there, SEM Rush is a great tool. And down here at the bottom of this video, I have a link for you to grab a free trial of SEM Rush absolutely free so that you can start looking up those amazing headlines and those amazing titles and those amazing stories and content pieces that you're going to be putting out for your audience on social media real soon. Looking to get help with all your content ideas as well as help with getting all the content created? Then my super content expansion worksheet is just for you. And in my super content expansion worksheet, I'm going to show you exactly how you can take one live video shot one time and ultimately turn that live video into every single content piece that you could ever need for your social media for one week. And right now you can grab your free copy of this worksheet. Just head to www.supercontentexpansion.com or simply click on that link down there in the description and I cannot wait to see you on the other side. And don't forget, we all win when we all win. I choose to win today and hope you choose to win by taking action right now and claiming your free copy of my super content expansion worksheet so that you can start creating content that's going to help you find your next client online organically for free real soon. I'll talk to you in the next video. Talk soon. We all win when we all win.